Welcome to VBPA Tutorials. I am Venkat. This is part 11 documenting response types. These are the endpoints we have written in the previous video along with the different status codes. But let us run this and see in action. I am executing this one. And here I am getting the correct result. And here it is saying 200 response. And coming to the get student by ID, I am executing this one with a ID 0. So here we can see 400 is returning bad request. So if the ID is equal to 0, then we are saying it is a bad request. So we are getting the same thing. So let me search for the student ID 2 execute. We got 200 response correct data and we have not found error so let's test that so there are only two students in the repository i am searching with id 4 obviously 4 will not be found it is saying 404 the student with id 4 not found that's what we are returning the student with id 4 whatever they are sending is not found so it is saying 404 is not found and this is the message we are returning. So everything is working fine. But if you notice there is some undocumented. Undocumented meaning the customer doesn't know that these kind of responses will send from the web API endpoint. Meaning of that is so we are sending different types of responses but we did not document that what happens if we did not document that if we don't document some responses what happens client will not know all those kinds of responses what happens if we document it if we document client will know that then client will build their client application or consuming application with respect to all these response types we are returning back so let's document this there is a way to document all the possible responses from the endpoint that is using here what are all the possible responses we are sending one is a bad request another one is a not found another one is a okay so here we are sending three different kinds of responses so to document those we have provided with the attribute produces produces response type this is the attribute provided and here we need to provide the status code so that's the status for 200 and that's the status for 400 bad request and i want to write one more for not found these are the three different response types i am sending so now bad request not found okay so let me run it now so here now i'm executing this one get student by id i'm giving id to it is getting the data correct and I am giving 0. So here we can see 200 documented. So this time you can see it is a 400. You cannot see that undocumented label here. Undocumented label is gone now. Because so when you refresh it and see. So if you see this for this endpoint we have added all the possible responses right. Here you can see that so 200 is one possible response and 400 is one possible response 404 is the another possible response. So here customer can see what are all possible responses from this endpoint. If you notice the same thing for this one get student by name we did not document anything here. So it is displaying only 200. So apart from 200, if it gets any other response type, it is saying undocumented. It is unexpected kind of. That's why we need to document everything, meaning every response we are sending. If we document every response we are sending, then it will display like this. 200, 400, 404. That's how the customer also knows these are all the possible responses from this particular endpoint. There is another thing. If we remove this one, so I'm removing that one and running it. This time, 
if you notice that if this time if you notice that here it is saying there is a possible response code of 200 there is no schema displayed what is the kind of schema we will receive so meaning so previously if i put like that it will display the possible response schema also so here i'm here before running that you can see that this is the kind of data you will receive when you when you get a 200 status this is the kind of data we will receive so that possibility is missing when we remove this one so when i remove that and run it now if you see this time it is only displaying a success it is not able to display the type of data we are going to receive okay for that we can also document that here comma type of student so that's the type of data i'm going to return for this 200 response okay here type equal to type equal to type of student so now if we see that so 200 for 200 success status this is the type of data we will receive so it is displaying now this one so if you are adding it here then no need to add here that one is fine okay so and also for remembering all these status code it is difficult for that there are predefined status codes status code dot okay status codes dot okay success status code you need to put like this so the next one is a 400 bad request and uh, not found and there is also one more possibility if there is unexpected server error then we need to document that also so server error internal server error so these are all the possible responses we are giving from this endpoint okay this is how we can document so let's add this one to this one so from this endpoint only these are the two responses possible responses and coming to this one these are the possible responses and coming to this one these are the possible responses bad request not found okay and server error okay now all the endpoints got the response documentation so if you see it now everything will be documented so for this one there are two different responses 200 and 500 and for this one there are five different responses 200 and 400 and 404 500 and for this also 200 400 404 500 so everything is documented now 200 400 404 and 500 this is how we can document the response types of the endpoint in web api